God is on your side, you can move mountains. Before I do anything else, um, I like to pray and I'll tell you my topic and everything. Heavenly Father, tonight, oh God, I just want you, oh God, to touch me, oh God, and hide me behind your belt stained banner. Lord, use me, oh God, like never before. Because so many people, oh God, are getting weary and tired in well doing. But tonight, oh God, as I speak your word, let, oh God, yourself be glorified and myself, oh God, be down, oh God. Because in everything I do, I want to do it unto your honor and your glory. Tonight, my task is to simplify God is. I want to give you three qualities. Probably hear it already, but I do this message again. God is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. I say that again. God is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. The word omni means combining from. All, inclusive always, place within limits. Also, the word omni came from a Latin word called omnis. The word omni came from the Latin word omnis. I want you to let you know that God is sovereign. I want to let you know tonight that God is sovereign. He is large and he is in charge. God is large and he is in charge. He is Lord of Lords. He is King of Kings. He is Lord of all and he is King of Kings. He, if he is not Lord, he is not Lord at all. Because he is everything. He is everything. He is a big one. He is everything to us tonight. When I say God is sovereign, it means he is a ruler. He is a monarch. He is a crown head. He is a head of state. He's everything tonight. God is everything to us. And we must recognize that he is a ruler. We must recognize that he is a monarch. We must recognize that he is the head of state. And we must recognize he is Lord of all. Firstly, I must, I have three parts. First, I said, God is omnipotent. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 26 said Jesus behold them and said unto them with man all things are impossible but with God all things with man we make mistakes with man we do as we like but when you think about God and you think about God deeply anything you ask God for it is impossible Remember, I said God is omnipotent. God is omnipotent. Brothers and sisters, God has an ability to do whatever he wants. He has the ability to do whatever he wants. He is able to keep you. God is omnipotent. He's able to keep you. He kept Daniel in the lion's den, Moses in the wilderness, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, in the fiery furnace. God keep David from Goliath and Saul. Only God, Jehovah, is omnipotent. God, he is an omnipotent God. He can do whatever he please because he is sovereign. He can do anything he want. He, he helped Moses. He helped Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He helped Daniel. And we want to give God praise and thanks. He said, God is omnipotent. Tonight, we're thinking about God. God, he is omnipotent. Secondly, we can say, God is omniscient. God is omniscient. That means, God is all-knowing. God, he is all-knowing. God knows every living thing. God sees and he knows everything. I like to take you to that scripture in Job. Job chapter 24 and verse 23. The if I give him to be instantly, whereupon he rested, yet his eyes is always open unto the ways. God's eyes is always open.
open because he knows everything. If God closes his eyes, everything will go pandemonium. See, God's eyes is always open. I like you said, God never sleep nor sleepy. Because if God closes his eye on us, everything will go wrong. I want to thank God tonight because he is omnipotent. God is omniscient. I want to thank God tonight because he is. God transplanted the Philippian eunuch to from one place to another. Because only God can do that. God can be in one place, to one place at the same time. God is the only one who can do, be two places at the same time. Nobody else can do that. Only God can be two places. God is here, there, and everywhere. He is here, there, and everywhere because he is omnipotent. God is omnipotent. I want to thank God for God. God is a spirit. He is a spirit. Yesterday, today, forever, Jesus is the same. All may change, but Jesus never, I want to say, glory to his name. God, glory to his name. I want to look in Job chapter 23 and verse 10 said, God, he knows that the path that I take, God knows the end before the beginning. God knows the end from the beginning. You remember I said, God is omniscient. He is omnipotent and number two is he is omniscient. So God knows everything. Even he knows that the path that you take, God knows the end from the beginning. God knows everything. He knows everything tonight. So God, he is a blessed God. He knows everything. You, know, you, you wonder. You wonder about this God. He was there in the beginning. So he knows everything uh, tonight. I want to thank God because he is God. In Matthew chapter 10 and verse 30, he said, but even the very here and head are numbers. Even the very here. If we start to check out our heels and our head, we ain't going to know. We ain't going to remember. We ain't going to know to start. But God knows everything. He said, even the very here and your head. Because he is omniscient. He knows everything means. Knows everything means. God knows everything. It's even the very here on your head. He is numbered. He knows all these things because he's ever knowing everything. I want to thank God because he's God. There are many people who knows. But God knows us by name and nature. He knows us. He knows everything about us. Name and nature. He knows everything. He said, in the here and the head are numbered. He said, he knows everything. But he knows everything. He knows your inside and outside. He knows what you're going to do before you do it. Because God is always powerful. God is always powerful. I want to thank God. Nothing is hidden from him. Nothing is hidden from God. God knows everything. Because he said, omniscient means all-knowing. He knows everything. He knows everything tonight. So we, he said, hey, this, what a man. Because he, said, he knows everything. I want to thank God. Because he's omniscient. Oh, praise God. David said, even if I make my bed in hell, hey, praise the Lord. Even if I let my bed, make my bed in hell, he is there. He is there because he knows everything. He said, even there is, even if I make my bed in hell, God will know. He knows everything about us because he is omniscient. First one I said, he is omnipotent. The second one, he is omniscient. So he knows everything. God do not have to go to school. He ain't going to go to school because he know. Because remember when he said when he was at 12 years and he was with the, 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 the doctors and the lawyers, he knows so much things. They want to know, how come this young fellow at 12 years knows so much things? Because he's the head of state. He's Lord of Lords. So he knows everything. He started counseling him at the age of 12. They want to know why this boy, this, this, some, something strange about this young man. At 12 years, you have so much knowledge and experience because he knows everything. He ain't got to go to school. He, 
God, you got to go to school because he know it already. He know it. I want to thank God for this man. God, he is omniscient. He knows everything. God is sovereign. He's sovereign. He's a sovereign God. He knows all. He knows everything. People trust in this God. Believe in this God. Remember I said, he is the head of state. He's everything to us. He's a friend in need. A friend indeed. This is God. You know, many times, all backs against the wall. And we feel like there is no one else. But I want to tell you about a big God. A pretty God. A merciful God. A loving God. Many people, when they backs against the wall, they go to a young man for a tap up. They go down the street to steal. But I want to tell you, anything you want, get on your knees. Because God, he's taller than she is. You ain't got to go beg nobody. You ain't got to go steal from the body. Remember, he said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. He's there with us in the beginning. He will be there with us in the middle. And he will be there with us at the end. Because he's all knowing. He knows your needs. He said, I will supply not your wants, but say, all of my needs according, hey, hallelujah, to his riches in glory. So you ain't got to sell your body for the top up. You ain't got to go beg nobody. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Ask. And it shall be given unto you. Ask. You ain't going to ask. Tell everybody your business. Because when you tell people sometimes your business, they tell another friend and another friend. You know, here, here, beg me for some yam. You know, here, here, beg me for happy shoes. But get on your knees and say, Lord, I need this. Lord, because he promised I will never leave you nor forsake you. You know what I like about him? He said, I will take care of the lilies of the valley. I will take care of the birds of the air. So why who me? It's his child. He's going to worry. Why are you going to worry? I'm going to beg. I have a God who all know. He know what you need. He know your needs. He know what you want. Just ask. Telephone to glory. Oh, what joy divine. Just telephone him. He's right. That's something you never telephone. Because he's right here. Talk to him. Say, Lord, I need a pair of shoes. Lord, I need some money to do some business. But women, remember, not because your sister Jones have a big care. As you, you, you say, oh Lord, please provide this care for me. He said, you know, I'll provide you what? I am going to provide your needs according to his riches in glory. Because sometimes he give us certain things and we can't handle it. But once it's your need, he said he promised because he knows everything. Oh, hallelujah. He knows about your problem. He knows that you need a new care. He knows that you need something to live by. He knows you need, he you know that my cupboard is empty. But he said, Acts, Acts, Acts. He knows everything. But you, it goes with the condition. He should stay here and say, Lord, I'm hungry. And me, I got to eat. And you have a big God. He said, Acts, and I shall, Acts. Because he know, he knows, he knows everything. Oh, hallelujah. I feel good tonight. Oh, hallelujah. I say, I feel good tonight. I, for, when I started to talk about God, you know, I know where I was. And I know where I am today. It's by the grace of God. I, he know that I was down there. He know what I was a hard head Harry. But God, I don't even know that I would be able to come by a pulpit. I said, God said the Lord. But God put, he turned me around. He put my feet on higher ground. I want to thank God. I want to praise God. Because they called me out. My grandmother said, nothing good going to come out of you. But when she meant something bad, she meant it for bad. But God meant it for good. Because I remember when I went down there to Tamanaku to a Bible study. A lady, I forgot her name. But we used to go Bible study. And he said, young man, come here. 
God has something good for you. 